Today I want to talk about birds. I like birds because they're unique. They're unique because they're the only animal alive today that has feathers. Scientists believe that some dinosaurs millions of years ago had feathers, and birds are the direct descendants of those dinosaurs. Today we're going to talk about birds and identifying birds because the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation has put together a challenge. It's called the iBird New York Challenge. And all you have to do is be 16 years of age or younger and live in New York to complete the challenge. All the information for this challenge is on the next page. Now it's important that you know that birds are important. They're important for many reasons. They're important because they eat insects that harm our crops. They eat insects that harm our trees. They spread seeds. They pollinate plants. They eat dead animals and get rid of that. They're also, they add so much beauty and wonder to the natural world and they're fun to watch. So what I like to do first when I'm identifying a bird is to note its size. And the way I do that is I don't go up to it with a, a ruler. I take a look at a bird and I say, that bird is about the size of, and it'll be another bird that I'm familiar with. So for example, if, if it's a small bird, then I say, that's the size of a sparrow. If it's a little bit bigger, I say, that's the size of a robin. These are birds that I'm familiar with. If it's bigger than that, I say, it's the size of a gull. And if it's bigger than that, I say, that's the size of a goose. These are all birds that I'm familiar with, and I can easily compare the sizes. So now you've looked at the size of the bird and noted it. You've taken a look at the color and the markings and noted it. And I'm, when I say noted it, I hope you're writing this down in your journal. The next thing we want to do is take a close look at the beak because beaks are different on different birds and it depends on what they're eating. So we see like a woodpecker would have a very long, thin, sturdy bill and a seed eater would have a thick bill for crushing the seeds. Um, woodpeckers, I have to just say, are one of my favorite birds because they can peck 20 times a second and their head hits the tree at 16 miles an hour. Wow! Luckily, their skull is adapted so they don't get a concussion. The other thing you should know about woodpeckers is they peck for three reasons. One is to find food, two is to make a nest for themselves because they nest in hollow trees, and the third is to make a territorial announcement. So they're announcing their territory to the female birds and other males. So sometimes you'll see woodpeckers pecking on a telephone pole. You know they're not getting food, you know they're not getting making a home in the telephone pole, it's because they're announcing their territory and, and telephone poles are very, uh, make a very loud noise. Now I want you to try a fun activity that has to do with bird beaks because different beaks, different food. So you're going to go into your kitchen and you're going to take different foods that represent different food that birds might eat. Like rice is seed, cooked spaghetti is a worm, juice is nectar from a flower, marshmallows, small marshmallows could be berries, big marshmallows could be chunks of meat that a, a carnivorous bird like a hawk could eat. Um, and then you're going to take different utensils and try to use those utensils to take the rice or the spaghetti or the juice and put it into a cup which represents the stomach of the bird. All right, take a look at this next activity.
last thing about birds that's fun to identify is their song. Different birds have different songs, and during the filming of some of these videos, there was a wren that was singing right behind me. I don't know if you got to hear that. Um, but my favorite songbird is the mockingbird because he does all the bird songs. So listen to the mockingbird. Okay, that's all for now uh, about bird identification. And there's, there's a bird singing right in my, over my head right now. That's a wren. Um, and so I want you guys to write all this down in your nature. Keep writing in your nature journal every day. Get outside and have fun.